guys, welcome back to part two of this bag organizer. If you're watching this for the first time, part one you can find under the description box below this video. Let's go ahead and get started with part two. Here are the two pieces that, um, here are the two panels that for pouches that we have prepared. Now, this pattern doesn't come with a handle, but it would be handy to have a little handle from the inside. So what I've done, I've taken a little strip of fabric, straight piece, folded on either side, folded the edges as well. And I'm going to go almost like a bias binding, but this is straight. I'm going to place it like so and sew on both the edges. Because the edges are all closed, once they are closed in, we're just going to go and just sew a stitch there and sew a stitch there. So that way it is like, you know, it's got the handle from the inside. So that's going to be quite handy when you shift this from one bag to the other bag. So we're going to go and do that now. And whilst we're doing it, I've also got a little chevelle hook here that is very handy to hold your keys or any other things. So I'm going to go and attach it to this inside like so. So you can always find where your keys are. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm not going to add stitch there because that's holding it nice and tight. So I'm just going to place it like so. Okay. Now we're going to go and sew this. Just make a marking from the center. How you feel comfortable. For me, that's about is right. So basically, I'm just going to go and hold it. We should have done this before we started, before we closed the, um, the pouch, but it's still okay to do it now. On the single layer, we're just going to go So, and then we're going to come to this edge here. Just make sure when you sew this on the other pouch, it's in the same position. There's my tab attached and the handles attached, and that's how it looks right now. So, let's go ahead and join these two together. Now you have got this long center piece and all you've got to do is close it, hold it like so and make a notch mark in the center. We have just cut the center point here. Go and do exactly the same on the other panel as well. So whatever we're doing on one of the pouches, you're going to go and do exactly the same on the other pouch. So let's go and fold this into half. I know we've got a center marking there. Sometimes it may not be in the right position. Hold it like so and just make a very, very t teeny weeny notch mark. So that's in the center. So now what you do, go and place your center notch mark of this panel, center panel, and we're going to go and sew a quarter inch stitch like so all the way till the end. When it comes to the end you will see that there is a little bit left but that is, you know, we need that just to cover the edge. So I'm going to show you on the sewing machine how to finish that and once we've done that we're going to turn over this side and then we're going to sew this like so going all the way till the end. Okay, let's go to the sewing machine and do and see how to put this together. We're going to go and sew on the inner side. If you find this difficult, maybe you need to go and pin and tack before you start sewing this. And we're sewing a quarter inch stitch.
and when you come to the end just fold it over because of the zip I can't fold over like this because it's kind of creating a little bit of a kind of a cross fold so I'm just going to leave it and now we're going to go back to the center flip this over and then so from this side Okay, so we have sewn this one and we're going to turn over and from the main, from the front side, we are going to put the other panel like so. So there is the first one we've sewn in and this is the second one and just match the notches where we started. It's important that we match the notches like so. And now we're going to exactly do the same because we need to what we are trying to do by using two layers of fabric is avoiding any overlocking or how to bind these raw edges. There won't be any raw edges seen at all. So we're going to go and sew this. Again, we're going to go back to the center flip it over and now you actually have the stitch that you've already sewn in and we're going to stitch on top of the same stitch. Okay, there is the uh, two pouches we have sewn in and basically the seam allowance has been sandwiched like so in between the two layers of the center panel. That way you don't have to worry about finishing the seams and trying to bind it and all that. So basically we have got this edge here that we need to finish. So we're going to fold this in like so. And just make sure the fold is straight because what happens is sometimes this kind of the fold goes a little bit higher there. So we're going to fold it like so and iron it if you have to. And then we're going to go and place it like that and place a pin. So the rest of it is fine because it's a straight fabric so you don't have to worry about it. But placing pins probably would be handy just so that you make sure that there's no wrinkles. So I'm going to place a few pins there. You will also see because this fabric is pushing it kind of doesn't sit right and it feels like as if the inner fabric is a little bit wider than the outer fabric but they're cut to size so don't worry about it. And we're going to do exactly the same here. We're going to fold it and I increase it if you find it difficult. We're going to fold that over like so and place a pin. Okay, so we prepared the other side as well exactly the same. And once we've done that, okay, so we're going to fold, hold it like so and go and join this all around. So this is going to go in a kind of a U join. So basically this needs to fit this one because it's cut to size and when you fold it just go and measure it just make sure the fold is right and let's go ahead and sew all these four layers of fabric together. Once we have done that all we then have to do is to either bind it or you can do an overlocker overlocking stitch or a zigzag stitch just so that it is neat inside. I'm going to bind this with a bias binding but it's not necessary to bind it with the bias binding. You, there are other ways to do it. Okay, let's go ahead to the sewing machine and sew this line. There's the two layers, and you can see this is kind of opening out. But we're going to put push this in and kind of sew on top later on. So now we're just going to go and place all four layers and you only need a quarter inch seam because we're going to bind this with the bias binding. I 
this stage, let's just go ahead and so close this top, otherwise the uh, allowance from inside might open up later on. So I'm just going to close it till the center and leave the center because we are going to bind this with bias binding in a minute. So I'm just going to just go and sew from there. So the allowance of in here and I'm going to push the allowance to the other side and then continue closing that. Okay, now that this line is now closed, we're going to sew the bias binding. Basically, take your bias binding and leave a little bit extra there, about half an inch. We're going to fold that over to the other side and then just go and sew on the fold. If you're not doing bias binding, basically zigzag the edges to neatly finish it. This is all looks a bit wrinkled up and uh, kind of makes it a little difficult to sew but it's actually a straight fabric so don't worry about this being in a curve it's actually a, you know if you open it it's a straight fabric. Now, we're coming to the end so I'm going to trim leaving about half an inch to three quarters of an inch and again we're going to fold this over to the other side and finish. Now we are going to open this up like so and fold it over and sew on the other side. So let's go ahead and do that. Because this is going to be inside, it's not, you know, I'm not too worried about how this is going to look like. It's not an outside finish. And when it comes to the end, because we have binded the edges, we're just going to fold it over. Okay, there is the bias binding that we have just sewn in and at this stage we can turn it over and it's absolutely fine. At this stage you can use it as it is but what I'd like to do is just go and sew a little stitch from there to there just so that the top is smaller and the bottom base is slightly wider and sitting flat. So I'm going to go and sew about an inch starting and finishing with the back stitch on both the sides. We're going to sew on the um, the check fabric. I'm going to do it off the camera and come back and show you the finished product. Okay, that's how it looks when I have done the stitching here and the stitching here as well. So let's turn this over. So there you have it. Your cute little bag inner is now ready. When you when you place it, because of the heaviness, because of the thickness of the denim, um, it's kind of sitting flat there. And this, though, the center fabric I've used is quite soft. And if you wanted to, you could add a little base here and sew some sort of stiffness so that the base would sit flat against the bag. But this is without putting anything in. This is quite sitting comfortably and because we have sewn in here the top opening is small and the base is flat and with lots of pockets and I think it's really really cute and you could do matching bag inners like this. Thank you for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this project if you try this out send me a picture I would love to see what you have um, what combinations you've used what modifications you've made I shall see you in the next project bye bye for now